In this video, I will show you how to check for problems with your laser cutter's safety interlocks. Interlocks on your laser cutter are safety systems which turn the laser beam off, meaning your machine will not cut. Some laser cutters are fitted with an amp meter, often labelled MA for milliamps. This meter shows the current which is flowing through the laser tube. For an etcher engrave, the current may show a pulsing needle, and for a cut, through material at high power it will show a proper reading. If the amp meter shows no reading at all, this might indicate a problem with the safety interlocks on your cutter. Check that your water pump or chiller is switched on and that the water is flowing freely. Some laser cutters are able to check for a flow of water and turn off the laser if the water is not flowing. Next, open your cutter's lid and check for an interlock switch. This is often a magnetic reed switch located on the right side of your cutter. A reed switch can be tested with a magnet and you may hear a faint clicking noise as you engage the interlock. The type and position of this switch can vary depending on machine and manufacturer. Locate the high voltage power supply inside your cutter. Often power supplies have an indicator, commonly a yellow LED, that will be lit if the interlocks are engaged. By turning your water pump on and off, or by opening and closing the lid on your cutter, you should see the yellow LED flashing on and off. Here I'm using a magnet on the interlock switch to turn the yellow LED on and off. This long green terminal block connects the signal wires for the interlocks as well as the signal from the laser cutter's controller which allows the controller to turn the laser beam on and off. The smaller terminal block connects the power supply to the mains power. The small red momentary switch button allows a manual test firing of the laser beam. Make sure it is safe to fire the laser beam before pressing this button. Here I'm showing a power supply that's been taken out of the machine for a clearer view. This is a yellow interlock LED that will light up if the interlocks are working. This is the red LED. This will light if the laser tube is being fired. The green LED indicates a signal to fire the laser from the controller board and will light at the same time as a red LED. This is the mains connection point and this is the long block for the signal connection point. Pushing the small red switch will test fire the laser. And here's a, a slightly different model of power supply. Here's the yellow LED that shows the engaged interlocks. The red LED that indicates the laser firing. This is the power connector. This is a slightly different small red button for test firing. And here's the signal connection point. You may have been supplied with a jumper connector uh, that looks a little like this one. The connector can be fitted to the signal point of your power supply. Turn off your laser cutter, uh, disconnect the signal cable from the cutter by pulling it out. It may be glued in place. Push the jumper connector into place and switch the machine on again. Pushing the test button will allow you to test the power supply and laser tube without connection to the controller board. This may help you diagnose any problems with your interlocks. 